million people, Stacia here. Um, so I got a delivery today from Arbico, oh, sorry, Organics. Um, I started noticing a little bit of an infestation around my house lately. Um, fungus gnats were where it started and I've been diligently fighting those and it's been really helping. However, I noticed a couple of mealy bugs on one of my plants that's outside in quarantine right now that I am absolutely not going to bring in. And um, I also saw a couple little brown bugs that were kind of creepy crawlies on a couple of my leaves. And I do know that I have a burl marks that has aphids. I've been battling with neem oil. And um, well, it's been probably about three weeks since I've done anything with the neem oil trying to see if maybe we were gonna break out again and it did. So I went ahead and I ordered this um, box of green lacewing larvae. Um, I watch Summer Rain Oaks channel at Homestead Brooklyn and she does a really good um, informative, I think, couple of episodes on green lace wings and other beneficial pests being released into your home. And I have, <laughs> I'm just going to be honest, I've got a lot of plants and I don't have my microphone and I think we're going to have to do this tonight. Yeah, we'll try again. All right, guys, so I started filming this earlier and I kind of gave you an idea of what I was doing, but I'm going to go ahead and try to get a little bit of footage of the green lacewing larvae released on some of the leaves um, and show you kind of what it was packaged like. So I did open the box earlier after I was having a little bit of a time issue. Um, so inside the box was this sleeve and inside the sleeve came this grid that had two pieces of screen like this on either side stuck to it um, and this little cool pack I think is what it is because it was not warm when it got here um, this little cool pack was in there so basically what I did was I took it immediately out of the box as soon as I got home I peeled the edge back just a little to reveal a couple of little grid pieces and then I just gave it a tap now I'll tell you this, it is, we have a visitor. <laughs> Gwen wanted to join us. Hi, Gwenny. So I'll tell you this, it, um, they don't come out of there real easy. It's actually a little bit, you have to be a little bit forceful. Um, and what I finally ended up doing there at the end was actually taking the grid and kind of smacking it down onto the table. Thank God I'm not squeamish and freaked out by bugs. And then I took the piece of screen that I had tapped them out onto Gwen, sorry guys, and I actually had to kind of like coerce them onto the leaf. There was a couple times I had to have them on my finger and kind of put them on the leaf. So if you're squeamish about bugs, I don't think I'm going to recommend this one to you. However, I've heard great things. Um, I'm going to update, oh, I thought I saw another one on there. I'm going to update in about a week and I'll do a couple of updates just to kind of see how things are going and see if it's taking care of the infestation for me so okay so I'm coming over here and I am going to see if I can get you guys some footage of these things crawling on the leaves oh yep here we go I have one I'm going to pause this turn around and let you see So from what I've seen so far, everybody appears to be running around and kind of doing their job. I've got it on a few different plants. So 
hopefully it works. Like I said, I'll give you a, an update in about a week and uh, hopefully we're not going to see any more mealy bugs. So, so that's all I have for tonight. Uh, I'll check in with you in a few days. Talk to you soon.